Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and this is the second part of 2024 CFD Summer Series where I talk about open form related topics. In the first video, if you haven't checked it out, uh, please go and check it out. I talked about meshing, especially with Snappy Hex Mesh and the, the, these videos aren't a full detailed tutorials, it's just a um, more general level tutorials where I give you tips where to go and how to deep dive into other, uh, other videos of mine or uh, tutorial, open form tutorials or where to look for additional information just to help you as, uh, as long as you're at the pool uh, during the summer or on your vacation and you're watching this video on your phone because you're bored then you know what to do once you're back in your office. And in the second video, I am going to talk about case setup. Why case setup? Because a couple of weeks ago on my community tab, I uh, posted a, a poll and I asked you what you would be interested in a CFD summer series. And the, the most important was meshing with Snappy or CF mesh. And then the second one was open phone case setup. And this is what I'm going to talk about in this video, <clears throat> in general topics. Now, one very, very imp important poll that I also did, let me just find it, is this one as that I uh, created three months ago and you can scroll even further down, but I'm lazy now here. Uh, a year before that and then another year before that and this is representative. This is the third time that approximately the same order of magnitude uh, was came out of a poll of hu multiple hundreds of, uh, of uh, people who are using open foam. And my question was, what kind of solver do you use? And each and every time the last place is, so I give simple foam, pimple or piezo foam, interfoam and something else. So the first one is the steady state, a single face solver. The second one is the transient single face solver and then the multi-phase solver. So these three make up almost 90% of the, of the user base and only 10 to 12% of the people use all the other solvers and all the fancy models. So if you are looking for problems, uh, uh, so a solution for a complex problem that are, cannot be covered with either simple pimple or interfoam, then you are among a very small niche and in a sub niche of this small niche, just as a reference. So I'm going to <coughs> give you small tips on the case setup, how to improve your case setup of your, if you're tr starting, then how to start with your case setup. So go back to the first uh, video if you want to know a little bit about geometry and then mostly about meshing for open form simulation. So here we are talking about case setup. So I'm going to start in the bottom. So if you're amongst the fancy uh, people in the sub niche of the sub niche, uh, then all I can tell you is good luck. That's difficult, yes, and uh, for your very specific problem, most probably there is nothing really, so you have to work it out yourself. What I would still advise you, that everything, so, so if you, are, you, you have to run a particulate, so sim flow with particles, you still need a single phase turbulent flow. Then take a look at my tutorial, either simple foam or pimple foam tutorials that I'm going to advise you in a couple of minutes. But, or if you're interested in, I don't know, a combustion modeling, then there are further possibilities on how to do this. So one idea is to go to wiki.openfoam.com slash tutorials and then take a look at the collection by topic or maybe even the archive section. So a little bit outdated, but still relevant tutorials. And I'm going to talk about in the next video why I think that these are still very relevant. <clears throat> and just go into your topic and maybe you will find something. Uh, yeah, so this is one possibility. And then if you re can really cannot find neither on my channel or on the tutorial wiki or on any 
YouTube channel that uh, helped also Tobias Holzmann or, or any of the other YouTubers who deal with open form simulations, then there is one last possibility. And I'm going to talk about that in my fourth and last video in two weeks. So make sure to be subscribed until then uh, to not miss that video, how I can possibly help you via pa Patreon. But uh, that's going to be in the last video. Okay, so this is for the uh, people in the bottom. Then if you are interested in Interform tutorials, then let me just show you. So I do have, and this is very easy, I do have a playlist for multi-phase multi -phase simulation project. I have here five videos where I go into full detail uh, of multi-phase simulations and how to solve them. And what is important that I set it up in a way. Uh, go, so this is it. Yes, yeah, so here is uh, the meshing stage and I set it up. Yes, yeah, so here you can see. These are my, so you can get the, the resources. Uh, he, okay, here, 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 if you, you just click it here, you, this will bring to the uh, wiki page and then you can get the, yes, the zip file. So all the available data for this tutorial. You can download it as a zip file and unpack it. And I set up the geometry in a way that it is very straightforward. So I have one inlet, one outlet, and then two wall regions. And of course you can have three inlets and two outlets. You just have to make multiple STLs. And then as I showed you previously, uh, for snappy hex mesh, just modify those couple of entries for the inlet for the outlet and then run snappy hex mesh. And the same is true for the initial conditions. So this is, so for example, yes. So this is for example, the velocity. Then if you have multiple inlets, then just copy this inlet uh, entry and then do inlet two and then inlet three and then modify the velocity that we want to uh, use or just copy this outlet and just go through step by step just like I do for my geometry just modify the names of your inlets your outlets and your walls and that's really it and just go through step by step just like I do it with, with this tutorial and then you should be good then if we go further up uh, pimple foam but also simple foam I would advise you also to go through this simul multi-phase simulation project just to understand my way of, how, of going through from the beginning until the end of each and every simulation project. Of course, you're not going to utilize for your problem Interform, but up until the mesh creation stage, oh, uh, up until the end of the mesh creation, everything is the same. And then the file syntax is a little bit different. Now, Okay, but how to change the, the file syntax? Very easy, because I also have a playlist for that. And these are one of my first intermediate uh, tutorials. If you have not checked them out, just check, check them out. So the first three videos here are on steady state turbulence modeling. So this is for simple foam simulations. Just go through that tutorial and then mod just like I do it for the multi-phase, simulations, modify your case as I, uh, I advise you to do so. And also explain you the background here. If you are interested in transient simulations, so piezo or pimple form simulations, then these two, so with the number two here, these two tutorials will help you. And one very important point to consider here is where do I show you here something in Paraview? Let me just, okay, I don't show you here anything in Paraview as it seems. Uh, let me just quickly, yes, here you go. Okay, so this is, uh, this is a 2D case. And may maybe you will run a 2D case or a 3D case, but it doesn't matter because the difference between 2D case and 3D case is that in, for both of them, you need a 3D mesh 
just in the third. So in this case, the Z direction, you only mesh one cell. And then the front and the back plane will always have the um, type empty. In 3D cases, you can just disregard them. So if you go and download here my, uh, <coughs> um, uh, my if you download here my material, um, yes, so no, I actually I, here I copy uh, uh, an, an existing tutorial. So if you copy that existing tutorial, and um, maybe if I go back to the and try to, yes, so here you can see, this is now the turbulent, for example, the turbulent settings. Here you have the front and back type is empty. For a 3D case, you can just delete it or just leave it because the open form simulation will just ignore it. And all you have to do is just take this tutorial and again, modify inlet, outlet, upper wall, lower wall. And this is really it regarding the case setup. Now, I, I would advise you for uh, turbulence modeling to use Okay, so I'm going, I want to show you a poll because this is also very, very interesting in my opinion. So, and this is also my experience with turbulence models. <coughs> okay, where is this poll? I like my polls. Uh, I hope I didn't skip it. So there must be a poll on turbulence modeling. Yes, here you go. <laughs> Do you see that only approximately 10% of over 200 people use a turbulence model other than K epsilon or K omega SST. So use whatever you, if you don't know what you have to use, then use either K epsilon or K omega SST. It will be most probably uh, good for your case. If you know, specifically know that you have to use one specific of those two, then go and then uh, look for a tutorial. So where to look for? So for example, uh, as far as I remember, uh, my, um, uh, let, let me just quick, quickly check. I don't want to tell you something. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. So videos no okay so i have to just go to my videos no playlist and then turbulence modeling which turbulence models do i use here this is the u file yes yeah, so here i'm utilizing Yes, the K and the Epsilon. I think the K Epsilon model. Okay, let me just. Yes, the K Epsilon model I do utilize here. I set up uh, the. F for, yes, so if you are interested in the K Epsilon model, just take. The, the tutorial that I show you here and then utilize the files as I tell you. Now, if you want to use K Omega model, then there is a tutorial, of course, for that. You just go into your open foam uh, installation and then, and let's see which one has K Omega ssd so for example the rotating fan ah yes so i did utilize it in a tutorial then there is a very straightforward solution for that i forgot that i did that i do have also a simulation project here moving mesh simulations and in this tutorial I utilize, if I'm correct, okay. 
I utilize, yes, you can see here, I utilize the K Omega SST model. And this tutorial actually got into the, uh, of mine actually got into the open form tutorial, the, the stock open form. So I'm very proud of that. So if you are interested in the files for a K Omega SST, just follow along with my rotating mesh tutorial. And it is available in, I think since two, tw the 2012 version, you have it. So you also have then the files available here. So in your um, org folder, you have your K Omega, turbulence properties, you also have, and one important setting that uh, I usually forget for K Omega SST that is not available, that you don't need for K Epsilon, is this wall dist entry in system FV scheme. So this is really it for the case setup and then set up your control dict and then just <laughs> run your simulation as you want. So this is really what I wanted to tell you how to tackle uh, those uh, <coughs> topics of simple form simulation, pimple form, interform simulation. And if you're in the niche, then just go to the other links and other possibilities that I uh, talked to you or wait until the fourth video. So that was really that I wanted to talk up to you about today. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening. And I hope to see you in the next video.